This is Blitz 8 with Travis Lee. All right, welcome to Blitz Satan. Over the past decade, Bonnie Eagle and Wyndham have staged some epic battles. Another chapter to add to their history tonight in Wyndham. Bonnie Eagle coming in unbeaten with a 24-10 lead in the third. And the front seven of Kevin Cooper smelling blood in the water. Christian Napolitano, Aaron Hodgman on the sack on fourth and six. They turn it over and then the offense goes to work. On third and two at the Wyndham 30 cam day to Keith Hofsis showing that speed gets to the outside 32 10 Bonnie Eagle Wyndham in obvious passing mode in the Scots they can smell it Zach Klein the sack Arlo Pike recovers and then cam day the battering 22 yard touchdown run spinning hiding figuring a way to get to the end zone gonna love it 38 to 10 Bonnie Eagle they're 6 and 0 they are rolling Sanford hosting Edward Little what a game this one was Eddie's up 20 to 6 late in the first half. Frankie Vino of Sanford tucks it in. He's going to turn that into points. Dives to the pylon. It's 20 to 12. Late in the third corner. Vino leading another drive. Another keeper. The QB sneak. Spartans down 20 to 18. Eddie's trying to put it away in the fourth. But the Spartans chase down Grant Hartley for the sack on fourth down. They get the ball back. Late in the fourth. Vino. Trying to run the two minute drill. Finds Ethan Amard for the big gain. Sanford's in business, down two. Under two to go, it's Vino finding Michael Lunny, who's gonna take it in for the game winning score. And Sanford comes from behind 24-20. They are four and two at Bonnie Eagle next week. Deering and Oxford Hills tonight. The sophomores face painting outside the stadium. Deering ball, Joe Pelletier bobs it up. Raphael Salamone out of St. Bridget with the CV, a sweet catch. The Vikings, though, were in the pillaging mood tonight. Parker LaFrance sacking Pelletier. Second quarter, rather late first quarter. Fourth and goal for Vikings. Halfback option, and it's Keegan Stanton. What a pick, one-handed. Vikings, though, get the ball back this time in the second quarter. Dawson Stevens turns the corner. 28 yards all the way down to the Deering three. From there, Ryland Van Decker punches it in. Oxford Hills 14-0, the shutout. They're three and three. Big win there with them. They play Wyndham next week. Portland on a four-game win streak, hosting Lewiston tonight. Lewiston down 27-6. Brock Belanger goes to Desmond Jackson through Isaiah Batchelder's hands off Jackson's head and picked off by Vincent Pasquale. Lewiston, though, the more conventional offensive player, keeping it on the ground. Garrett Poussard, TD run. It's 27-13, but Lewiston going back to the air, and you can't throw in these Bulldogs. Jake Note picks it off. That leads to a Dylan Bolduc touchdown. 34-13, Portland with a win tonight. They are 5-1. Scarborough at South Portland. Owen Garrard, one tough customer. Gets to the outside. He's going to go deep into South Portland territory, fighting off guys, and from there, but Gerard would muscle in for the score, and Scarborough with a 38-0 lead in the third. The Red Riots decimated by injuries, put a drive together. Matt Crockett on the slant to Zach Johnson for six, but Scarborough prevails 38-6. They are 4-2 hosting Chevers next week. All right, one of the games of the night in Class B, a pair of unbeaten teams meeting in Brunswick. Brewer traveling to take on the 5-0 Dragons. You know, we thought it'd be a pretty good second half, but all the action really took place in the first half. Brunswick led 36-0 at the break. Brewer trying to get something going in the second half, but they fumble. Garrett Compton recovers from there. The Dragons on the field marching down. Christian Jensen to Ben Palazze. That's 32 yards. Then Jesse Devereaux on the ground for 15. His team averages 420 yards on the ground a night. They're going to go over 4,000 yards this year on the ground. And then Devereaux finishes off the drive with the touchdown run. This team is playoff ready. Brunswick. 42 to 14, they are 6-0, demolishing Brewer. All right, Marshwood hosting 5-0, Kenny Bunk, what a game in Southernby. Hawks up 15-14 at the half over the unbeaten Rams. Kenny Bunk, though, drives. Trip Bush finishes it off, 20-15, Kenny Bunk takes the lead. Kenny Bunk's defense stepping up tonight as well. Justin Wiggins showing that speed, bringing down Cole McDaniel for the big loss. Rams fourth down at their own 45. In the third, the option this time. Wiggins doing it with the ball, sprinting across the grain, 55-yard touchdown. Kenny Bunk goes up 27-15, but Marshwood's not dead yet. Cole McDaniel swings it out to Kyle Glidden. As the horn sounds at the end of the third, Marshall pulls within five, 27-22. What a dive for the end zone by Glidden. Back and forth, fourth quarter. Rams defense in the final minutes makes a stand. Patrick Saunders with the big sack, 27-22. Kenny Bunk, they are still unbeaten with a win at Marshwood. Morris hosting 4-1 Falmouth. 
first yachtsman possession. Jack Bryant going up top, 19 yards. His favorite target, Brock Welsh, 7-0 Falmouth. Griffin Obi, a huge first half on defense, unblockable. Had three sacks. Falmouth driving in the second. Look out, Jack Bryant. Here comes Raz Baltazar with the hard sack. Oh, take one of these and call me in the morning. Morse driving late in the first half, trying to get on the board, but Welch playing both ways. The interception for the Otsman, and then Bryant scores on the QB keeper just before half. Falmouth picks up the win 25 to eight. They are five and one and host Marshwood next week. Westbrook at York tonight, opening Westbrook possession on the road. After a big kick return, it's Bailey Sawyer finding Hamzy Hennefee for the score, seven nothing Westbrook. The Westbrook special teams making things happen tonight. Kyle Champagne, He's going to put it on ice from his own 40, gets to the outside and then shows the breakaway speed after the cut. He is gone. 14 nothing. Westbrook on top. Later in the second, Mies Lorero doing it the more conventional way on the pitch out. Big 76 with a block, turns the corner. Nobody's going to catch him. He gone 34 27. Westbrook, a big win on the road. All right, unbeaten Bitterford hosting Mount Ararat. First quarter, Cam Tang. Up the middle, the power run. Bitterford, so much depth. Look at that, piling into the end zone. Seven nothing, Tigers on top, trying to move to six and zero. Oh. Eagles go into the air, but Joey Curit, right man, right place, right time. The interception takes it deep into Mount Era uh, territory. Few plays later, Curit with a QB keeper. Bitterford goes up 14 to nothing from that point. In the second, Austin Dutremble gets in the scoring column with a TD run. Bitterford rolls 33 to six. What a game we have in Southern B next week. It's Bitterford at Kenny Bunk, a battle of six and O teams. Class C South, Gray at unbeaten Cape Elizabeth. Capers with the direct snap to their all purpose weapon. Ben Ekadal, he's through the line. 30 yard pickup all the way down inside the Gray five from there. Jeb Boschenstein to Ekadal for the touchdown. 20 to nothing Cape. Later in the second, Boschenstein. You know, the more touchdowns he throws, the more practice I can get saying his name. This time, Jack Tower, the score, 57 to nothing Cape. They win. Wells also wins 16 to nothing at Lake Region. Those teams both 6 0 meet in week eight. Class C South matchup in Yarmouth. Clippers hosting Spruce Mountain. Big shakeup head coaching position for Spruce Mountain. And, well, they're looking pretty good tonight. Dylan Webster, the eight yard touchdown run, 20 to nothing Spruce. Yarmouth trying to put together a drive of their own. But it's Austin Darling stripping Remy LeBlanc, and he's going to go back the other way. 66 yards for a defensive score. The Spruce was on the loose. In the fourth, it's Colin Parker keeping it. 42 yards, 41-0 Spruce with the win. All right, Class C North we go. What a game in, on, the, on the island. MDI hosting Madison. MDI with a tough run up the middle by Chris Farnsworth for the touchdown. And MDI 20 to 19 beats Madison, handing, uh, handing Madison its first loss of the year. 20 to 19 MDI the win. Another big one in Class B North. Skowhegan visiting Mesolonsky. Late in the first quarter, Garrett McSweeney connecting with Cooper Holland on a nice touchdown pass to tie it up 7 7. Seconds into the second quarter, it's Austin Pelletier. What a night he had. Four touchdowns in the game, 85 yards here. Eagles would take the lead. But this back and forth game would swing mess, uh, Skowhegan's way in the end. 33-29, Skowhegan the win. All right, Waterville brought in the lights for homecoming against Belfast. Lions Stan Sturgis with a touchdown run, 34 to nothing Belfast with a win. That's Blitz 8. Thanks for watching also on WMTW.com.